Well, hello there. If you want to find out more about part four of this series about the right weight belt system, stay tuned. The Bright Weight Belt System is a uh, modular system from Blue 3 that uh, has a very strong weight belt. And I love using this because you can adjust your weight very accurately uh, when diving. I am a, uh, a certified dive instructor and I just wanted to, to let you know that over the years, uh, a lot of times we've used big weights and that are just lead and they're uncomfortable and they just don't fit your body very well. And one of the things that this company uh, has done, they've created a modular system that kind of fits your body real well. This right here just kind of bends around your body. These are weights I put on the side to balance each side and then I put some weights in back. Uh, when you're diving for treasure, you probably want to be a little ne bit more negatively buoyant than when you're scuba diving, uh, because you like to stay anchored to the bottom of the river a little bit, but you don't want to be anchored so much that it's unsafe and you can't get to the top. And I use these bright weight belts uh, to adjust where I'm just a little bit negatively buoyant. And the way you do that, they come with these little weights that slip in and out and they slip right in and then when you put them on the belt clamps down around these weights each one of these weights weigh 1.1 pound and the weight belt length is around 58 inches total um, and when you uh, get it you can cut it to your size but you'll want to like heat the edge and kind of burn it but don't don't burn it toward the point you mushroom it you want to be able to still slide this into your weight belt. It won't fit in there really good if you burn it too much. Um, has a stainless steel buckle um, and it's, you know, quad stitched weight belt. It comes in di different colors. It comes in black, blue, red, yellow, and pink right now. Um, when you order the weight belt, you have to order the weight separately. And just to let you know, this weight belt holds quite a bit of weight. It holds 28 pounds if you leave the full 58 inches on here. Um, I, you know, I, I uh, when I'm dredging for gold, I use a lot of weight. I, I probably use close to, you know, 60 pounds or more. And I've used up to 90 pounds when I was uh, dredging for gold in the rapids. So you really want to stay negatively buoyant. This weight belt would not be for something like that. What it would be more like is uh, for scuba diving, snorkeling, um, and treasure hunting underwater. And that's what I use it for. So after you try this weight belt on, you'll want to cut it to length. And I'm just going to stand up here and show you how I put it on. Uh, it's easier to put it on, I think, if you lean it in the water. But uh, you just snap this thing on and you cut it to the right length. Uh, you want to leave a little bit out here to play. Like I've got mine cut that short. And the reason I'm cutting it this short, guys, is I'm trying to lose weight. I'm a, I'm a really big guy and I've been taking a, uh, you know, a diabetes medication that's helping me lose a lot of weight. So. I'm actually down from 305, so I've been cutting my weight belt here. And I like leaving about this much. Some guys leave it a lot longer, but I don't want to leave a lot on there. So um, to cut it, you just cut it the length you want it. You try to cut it next to one of the pockets. You don't cut it where it'll fray. Cut it right next to the stitching here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Cut it right there, and then you just take a, a lighter or something and burn that edge and then you don't want it to mushroom you want it to be able to go into the buckle here it's quite thin and it's hard to get in there if you let it mushroom out when you burn it off so when you're diving and you're trying to figure out how much weight you use to become neutral boys this is what this would would entail so while you're wearing your mask and you and your snorkel you go into a pool somewhere or go somewhere that the water's over your head. 
and you would just sit there and like float in the water. And if the mask, if your mask is, you know, water's up to about right here and you take a deep breath in and it, the water is right here and you come up a little bit out of water and you breathe out and you come down and your head, head's not quite going underwater, you're not heavy enough to dive. You really need to add. So what you want to do is start adding these one pound weights, 1.1 pound weights. You want to start adding them. And once you once you can sit there in a the pool and you go underwater and you got your snorkel on so you can still breathe, you go underwater and you take a deep breath in and let it out. And you should start sinking once you let the let your air out. If you're not sinking, then you're then you're uh, you're floating um, when you let your air out. So try to let. Uh, try to get a little bit on the neutral, on the heavy side. I usually get to the point where I'm neutrally buoyant by where I'm floating and then I take a breath and my head comes up and then I float underwater. And then I usually add about two pounds to, you know, two of these weights uh, on here. And the weights you're seeing right here are pretty heavy. This is with a wetsuit on. This is probably what you'd use with a wetsuit on. Um, I'm heavy guy, so I use a lot more weight. If you're lighter and you're, you know, uh, just wearing, uh, you know, a t-shirt and some swim trunks, you could probably get away with, you know, one or two of these weights, you know, maybe even three or four, I don't know. It just depends on what you weigh and how buoyant you are. If you float real good, you're going to need more weight. And, but it just takes trial and error. You don't want to get too heavy that it's not safe, but you want to be so light that you're uh, floating either. Another thing is salt water versus fresh water. Um, what I found is for my size, my weight, uh, when I go from freshwater rivers right here in Texas to down to the Texas coach to the beach into the salt water, it typically takes me four to six pounds difference in weight. Uh, I had to add about four to six pounds when I go to salt water uh, because you'll float a lot better in salt water than you will in fresh water. So as I mentioned before, you want to make sure you distribute the weights easily. Notice I got these weights distributed for both sides and I have them sitting right here on my hip bones. And this weight is measured into the back. And the way you do that is I actually put the weight belt on and mark where my hip bones are. And then I'll put a mark in the middle of this weight belt. And I try to get the weight belt adjusted to this, these four are exactly in my back. And these three are on my side. And you want to tighten this down snug enough that the weight belt doesn't rotate around. Now the good thing about the, this bright weight belt with the way it's designed with these weights, they kind of give you a little bit more friction than those single weights that you see. So they stay put, they don't rotate around a lot of times if you don't get your weight belt tight enough. So I like this style better. Uh, it stays put a lot better than the old weight belts. So that's it on my review of the bright weight belt and weight belt system. Um, if you have any comments, please leave, leave them below. I'll be glad to answer but please like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you guys and have a blessed day.